What is up my simple cooks, it's Shana here. Today I've got my kick-ass Hawaiian shirt because we are making poke. If you don't know poke, this dish originates from Hawaii and consists of diced raw fish that's been flavored in a delicious marinade. Every time I make this recipe, it just brings me back to vacationing in Hawaii. Sitting on Kiki Beach with a poke bowl in my hands. Don't think life can get much simpler than that to be honest. It's light, it's refreshing, and it's damn delicious. So let me show you how to make some poke. Let's go. So firstly, we're gonna be chopping up two types of onions, a spring onion and just a regular onion. So go ahead and finely dice both your onions. Perfect. Now let's put that to the side and get to the main event, the fish. Alrighty, so now the most important step when making poke is to choose the right fish. Here, I've got myself a gorgeous piece of sashimi grade salmon. This is quite a flexible recipe, so you can either use tuna or salmon, but make sure you get a good quality fish that's sashimi grade. Sashimi grade means that it's safe to eat raw. I don't want you getting sick. So let's go ahead and dice up this salmon into chunky one centimeter cubes. Nice, that's done. So now let's chuck them into a bowl and let's talk about marinade. And so now we need to make a delicious marinade. So firstly get the onions in there. Now going with a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, and a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. And finally, a teaspoon of chili flakes for a bit of heat. It's super easy to remember this recipe because everything is a tablespoon apart from the chili. The vinegar adds a little bit of acidity which really helps balance out that saltiness of the soy sauce and the oyster sauce. Traditional poke also contains some pretty wacky Hawaiian ingredients like Hawaiian salt, limu which is a type of seaweed, but I live in Australia and it's not always the easiest to locate these ingredients. Just because you can't find these sort of ingredients, don't let it deter you from making this recipe. If you follow my steps, you'll still get a damn delicious poke. Now every time you cook, I always say it's very important to taste your food. So get yourself a spoon and give that marinade a little taste and then just adjust the flavor to your liking. I like to balance the flavor of the marinade by using my soy sauce and vinegar. If it's not salty enough, just add a bit of soy sauce. And if it's too salty, you can just balance that out with a bit of vinegar. Okay, so this marinade is tasting spot on, so it's ready to serve. Now, if you can resist your urges, I highly recommend to keep your poke in the fridge for about 15 to 30 minutes. That really allows those flavors in the marinade to really just get to know each other. But Jason is quite hungry and giving me the death stare right now, so I'm just gonna quickly serve this up. So to serve, get yourself a fancy Japanese style bowl, fill it up with some brown rice. You can go white or brown, but it's up to you. And now just get your delicious poke over the top and garnish with a few finely chopped spring onions. Don't forget the most important accessory, some fine looking bamboo chopsticks. And this is my version of a Hawaiian poke bowl. If you want the full recipe, check out in the description box down below. I'll leave a link for you down there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other sort of recipes you'd like to see on this channel. Also, if you want to see the next episode, make sure to subscribe down below. On this channel, we upload videos about simple recipes and cooking techniques that help you get more confident in the kitchen. Anyways, I'm out. I need to serve it to you. What's wrong with you? Mmm. Good? Yeah. It's okay. I'll eat something. Where would you get it from? Mm.